got swallowed by a gorilla. No, I didn't. I'm right here. And today, we're going to be testing out five fun and cool science experiments that you guys can do at home with things that you have around the house. And I'm really excited because one of my favorite subjects at school is science. I'm so excited. Let's get started. A, B, E, Fun What you'll be needing is dish soap, colors of your choice, milk, and a cotton ball. Okay, so the first step is to pour your milk yep. into your plate. And then I think the second step is the dot, the thing. Yes, second step is the dye. You can use as many colors as you want. First, yeah. the okay. colors we're going to be using is yellow and blue. And we're also using a dropper because you don't want it to splatter everywhere. Okay. Drop, drop. <laughs> Activates everything, so put it everywhere. Okay, now drop it. Wow! And the colors should move like that. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, it's like mixing See, look, all look, together. It's like waving, and we're not shaking the table or anything. Yep. The dish soap kind of just moves the colors around. Yeah. See, look here. It's like it's blue kind of and yellow. Yeah, I'm not moving it because I'm on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. the blue and yellow is creating green. Yeah, and now it's time to move on to Erhan's experiment. Yeah, yep. I'm excited. Now that my turn is done, it's Erhan's experiment. And I call this experiment the Rainbow Skittle. Yep, and the ingredients you'll need are hot water and Skittles in a circle. And if you you can't hold, if you're not able to do hold it with your hand, you have maybe you can use a glove like I'm yep. gonna do. So I'm just gonna take the hot water and pour it into the center. And it might take a bit of time to see the. Mixing. Now wait, we're gonna add a little bit more. Yeah. Now the colors should start to come to the middle. Yep, as you can see, the dye from the food, uh, the dye from the candy is starting to get away from the candy and it's going to form and come into the middle. Look at that, that looks so clean. That's how much candy you have in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> now, wow, it looks so cool, right? Looks... I never ate candy. Like no, totally. you eat candy. <laughs> no, You're just going to wait until all of that goes into the middle. Yeah, it Isn't looks that kind of like cool. A I love how all the colors are mixing really nicely. Yeah, yeah. it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like so a rainbow, cool. but it's like a circle rainbow. That's yeah. why I called it the rainbow skittles. Yeah. Now we're just yeah. gonna wait until all of the colors come into the middle. Yep. Now it is Akka's turn. Okay, so it is my turn, and I'm doing a pressure experiment. So the thing, the things we'll need to do this experiment is a plate. A wa empty water bottle first, and then you poke holes and you add water. And if you want, you could add some food coloring to make it interesting. So this experiment works by releasing the pressure, and when you close it, there's no pressure. So I'm gonna test it out. So you're just gonna open and close. It's super simple. So let's test it. Open. It's close. kind of like a so water fountain. So releasing. It's close. It's water fountain. It's like a water fountain. It's so cool. Yeah. It's interesting because the holes are already in there. Mm -hmm. But by closing it, the pressure is closed. It's like a sprinkler. And now, as you see, the water is getting more lower because the water is not filled. So that was my experiment. And now it's time to do it. Now it's my turn. I'm going to be doing an inflating balloon. So you need a balloon, food coloring if you want to change the vinegar's color, baking soda, and vinegar. Yep. Okay, so the first step is to take off the cap of your <clears throat> vinegar. And now we are going, can you hold this open for me, Ahan? Okay, and we're going to put the baking soda in to the test tube so we can add it into the okay. balloon balloon nicely. And it's going to like put the vinegar That's going to make it explode kind of. 
So the more vinegar you add, I mean the more baking soda you add, the more inflated it will be. Okay, hold it carefully. Tap, 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 tap. That's all. Is it in there? It's supposed to make gas to come up and then the balloon will, will inflate. inflate. Okay, before we do that, right before we do that, we're gonna add some color to make it nice and interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we have blue food coloring. We're gonna add that. Is that blue? Blue food coloring. We're gonna <laughs> add that into our mixture. Yep. Okay, this is how it looks before and now. We are going to add in our balloon. Can you open it? Yep, I can open it. Okay, you ready? Three, yeah. two, put the cap on. One. And, and then do you want to tip it over? Okay. okay, three, two, one. Add it in. Oh! Oh, whoa! Whoa! whoa. Looks like Look this at is that. It's inflating. This is exploding. This is exploding. Look at that. It looks like cooking mentos. <laughs> yeah. And now it's time for Ian's experiment. This experiment was so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is the Coke fizzing experiment. And so the only things you'll need is Coke and baking powder. Baking soda. <laughs> okay, so just gonna you ready, Ian? Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Wow. wow. Oh, 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 look at it. You can have a bit more, I think. A bit more. Oh, look at that fizzing. It. That is so cool. It was from here and it went almost all, all the way, way to the top. top. It's a fizz. And yeah. these experiments were so much fun. We hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. A V E. Bye bye bye. bye. bye.